When securing a container, what is the riskiest part of the journey? It's interesting you ask riskiest, because risk can be a mixture of frequency and impact. Uh, and here, probably most people immediately think of the largest impact. You're thinking of a major ship fire or collision or that sort of thing. And obviously that is what is most significant to the industry. But also it's actually the frequency of losses. So I think probably in, in that context and on both sides, I'd say that the riskiest factors are before the journey begins. It's when the process is starting out, how is that cargo going to be planned so it's packed uh, and packaged, secured within the cargo transport unit, whether it's a trailer, a container or a rail car, in a way that uh, means that it gets to the other end without any mishap or is likely to get to the other end without any mishap. Now within that obviously you, you start to think about the different forces and at sea there will be quite different forces, more significant forces potentially at play on the cargo unit uh, than you would have on road or rail. So we are talking about different risk factors and maritime losses are by their nature significant. I think two factors that I'd raise out of that though um, are that although the maritime leg is quite significant and can give rise to what I call adjacency, adjacency being the fact that when one package within one cargo transport unit, a container, within a stack, a ship stow, uh, or indeed a container yard, that can impact a much broader spread of uh, units. So adjacency risk is that one unit impacts lots of units. So that is something that you see obviously at sea, but you also see it at terminals. But you wouldn't so much see it on a rail or uh, a road transport. Uh, but then those factors kind of need to be married together so that together the, the impact of risk is mitigated. And overall, as I said, it starts with the, the beginning of a process rather than any particular mode of transport. So what can we expect from TT Club in the near future? I think 2017 is going to be quite an exciting year because our key campaign is around what we call cargo integrity. And that's really building on our experience, collaborative experience with Global Shippers Forum, Ichika and World Shipping Council to look at the broader risks and particularly home in on the importance of the CTU code, the code of practice for packing cargo transport units. And the reason we're doing that is that we always said that weight was only a small element of much broader risk that we were seeing and that the industry was suffering. So we're looking to develop on a collaborative basis a number of measures that will uh, improve awareness and uh, adoption of the CTU code practices, breaking down what is an encyclopedic type approach to the specific needs of a cargo packer presented with some cargo and a cargo transport unit and marrying those up so there is an effective uh, safe operation through the supply chain. I think it's quite a long process, we're not talking about something that will necessarily end this year but it's something that excites me and excites the club. Peregrine, that was great. Thank you for your time today.